YouTube. We got on a decent bite. There's a road bed. Runs this way. Wind's blowing across it. I've already lost two. We got one in the live well. Um, let's see if we can get them on this blade bait. There's one. Get them off. They're eating. Interesting, that was somebody's worm. I'm not the only person out here, yeah. Look like a bubblegum trick worm.
look at that. Look at that. If that ain't a PB, I don't know what it is, cowboy. Holy cannoli. That's a big one right there. All right, YouTube, I just caught my personal best largemouth. Um, unbelievable. Caught it on a lipless crankbait. Six cents, shout out. Uh, I think it's the Quake Thud. I'll show you the lure later. But um, I wanna get these things weighed. I've got a few in the box because I got on a pretty decent bite here. And um, I wanna get these things weighed, get them back in the water. So um, I'm gonna set the GoPro up on the, so I'm gonna set the GoPro up on the Yellow Tech and uh, get them weighed and release them. So, here we go. Here she is. Look at that big girl. I'll get a weight on her and I'll get a length on her here in a little bit. Eight point one three. She's fat. About twenty two inches. Let's get these other fish weighed and release them, and then I'll release the big one. I'll let this one go. Fat. Two point one three. One point nine four. <clears throat> Chewing on my thumb. What's up YouTube? So we're here back in the garage. It's a few days later. Uh, new PB, pretty cool. 8.13, eight pounder, just a little over. I just wanted to go over a few things that we caught them on. So uh, that first fish you saw came on a Berkeley Fritz side. Uh, it's Fritz side five, uh, runs about five foot deep. These things are cool because they're silent, really subtle. They have a very slow float. This color is called Special Red Crawl. In the springtime, East Tennessee, most folks know that uh, that red crawl pattern seems to produce. Now let's talk about what really caught them. Was again, that Demiki Vault, that blade bait. Uh, this color is the Crystal, WS Crystal, and uh, that Six Cents Quake Thud Lipless. Um, I, the, the Mickey Vaught, it's just, it catches them. Uh, this is the half ounce size. Um, I'll throw a half ounce from an eight foot of water, which that was. Any shallower than that, I'm gonna wanna go with a three eighths or a quarter. But um, I was getting bit on that thing. And it seemed like they got fired up because then they were hitting it on the fall and hammering it. You saw me swing and miss a couple times. They were just smoking it. And that water was quite muddy, so it must've been a vibration thing. And the quake thud, um, the reason I threw it was because we're on Chickamauga. And I figured a lot of folks will have a, a lipless in their hand, and I wanted something a little bit different. And this color, it's a little more translucent. Most folks probably wouldn't throw it in the muddy water. I don't know if it was a good idea, it paid off. But this quake thud, you can hear it. 
It's really subtle. I don't know if that helped me. It seemed to. Um, and then again, that color. It's uh, translucent. It's almost like a thread fin color. But that was what we called them on. The setups, uh, that lipless setup that I caught the PB on, this is the Dobbins Champion 765 crankbait rod. I've got it uh, paired up with, I think that's 12 pound Sunline Sniper and a lose LFS reel. This is a 6 8 to 1. That's it. Um, that does, that's a really good lipless rod. The crankbait rod caught the first fish on. This is again the Dobbins Champion 705 CB um, glass rod. So it's glass composite. I've got 12 line sniper on it as well. And that's a lose tournament pro uh, 6 8 to 1 ratio. Uh, that's one of my favorite cranking setups. And then the blade bait setup is the Dobbins Fury 705 CB. Um, that's got a lose tournament MP reel on it, 12 pound sniper, and it's a it's a very good crankbait rod. It's a little lighter than that uh, Champion, just a little bit, and I like that for that uh, blade bait. I lost a few in the video, as you see. The blade bait is notorious for that. It's it's a heavy piece of metal that they were able to throw. So, um, all that being said, blade bait, Fritz side. Uh, lipless this time of year those things are going to catch fish normally uh, that's it thanks for watching guys uh, we're starting to get into the heart of fishing season it's right now it's uh, mid-february coming into march and it's going to start heating up I got on some spinnerbait fish the other day i'm going to put a video out on that here soon um, yeah so Keep watching. Fishing ought to get good. Guys, I can't wait for you to tune in for ledge season. Um, I need to get some of you out on the boat with me. That that would be a lot of fun. But uh, ledge season, I've got some hidey holes here on the TVA that we should be able to, to, to pull on a few. Um, maybe even do some tournament vlogs with you. We'll see. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. That'll do it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button for a PB catch and um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the videos, maybe some uh, areas for improvement, or just let me know that you're watching. Thanks, guys. See you next time.